Hey guys, Brass is back, and today I have a bit of a question that you're not, it's kind of rhetorical, but have you ever wanted a moving walkway in Minecraft similar to the ones you find in airports? If you've never been to an airport, then I'm sorry, you're missing out. It's not much though, it's just a place where airplanes meet. Um, upper world, let's go. Uh, and uh, I'm doing a bit of, so, I have uh, made a... Minecraft moving walkway that works. You can get on it. You can you can move hands free, not touching anything, not touching the keyboard. Totally works. Um, and uh, stained glass. One. Wow. Um, but, yeah, it's, uh, fully survival compatible. You only need one slime ball, actually, for one sticky piston, which is really convenient. But I'm just gonna show you how to make this little conveyor belt thing that you see in airports. And, uh, this is what it sounds like. So, I suggest putting your box sound maybe down to like 20 percent just if you're gonna have this in your base or something or your house or whatever but it works totally 100 percent with barely any redstone i mean it requires eight repeaters one sticky piston and three other pistons so if you're like new to minecraft that is a lot but if you're not new then you know it's not a lot so i'm going to show you how to do this in survival mode and i'm going to clear the chat uh ignore the weirdness that is my texture pack um so this is not going to exactly mirror this, because I'm going to need actually more half slabs. But I'm just going to show you how to make the conveyor belt. The rest is um, kind of self-explanatory. You're going to need slabs next to it. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to place... Actually, grab myself a pickaxe to make this easier. We're going to place our sticky piston here. Block. Actually, no, not there. Uh, I'm going to place your piston here. Um, and you're gonna want to start by placing your conveyor belt, which is a repeating pattern of slabs and blocks. And you're gonna keep going until you have about six of each. Then you're gonna go on top. Um, place. Uh, different, uh, whichever, you're going to place a block here, if it's a block here, it's a slab, slab here, block, you kind of know what I mean, and you're just going to place, basically mirror, shoot, don't do that, redstone breaking is weird, uh, and you're just going to repeat the process, and yeah, it's almost good, you got to place a piston there, and a piston up here, Break this block, and now, yeah, now you're uh, ready to uh, place down all your redstone. So the first redstone you're wanna, gonna wanna place is right across the middle here, and find about the middle, and you're gonna place two repeaters facing into the redstone, two repeaters facing out, and redstone connecting those. Very simple. If you guys wanna see a replay mod version of me building this, then I can do that. It's probably gonna look cooler and stuff, but not as informative. Uh, I might consider doing uh, some, what is it, uh, talking over replay mod videos in the future, maybe? Who knows? Um, I'm gonna have to find a good recording program. Now for, uh, now we have to power, so we have these guys. The bottom piston's powered right now. And next thing we're gonna do, wanna do is we're gonna power the ones behind them, or above them. And you're gonna place some blocks 
uh, just on their backs. And the reason for this is because of blood powers and stuff is really annoying with Minecraft, and it just kind of ruins your thing. So I'm going to go ahead, you're going to place redstone dust on the blocks, sort of diagonal, like this, if you see what I mean. And let's give myself some hat saturation. It's going to go away in a sec. Um, I'm just going to place redstone dust on those sides, then lock on the side of that block on the side of it. I go down, diagonal, sort of making this weird triangle voxel-ish kind of thing. Place a repeater, redstone dust, repeater, redstone dust, redstone dust. And on this side, it's just repeater, repeater, shoot. Repeater, repeater, redstone dust, redstone dust, redstone dust, redstone dust. And now you're all set. But, actually, let's see, um, now uh, you've used up your 21 redstone-ish, I forgot what I said, it'll be in the video earlier, I'll put a thing right here, so right here, this redstone block, it's going to be a number, in 3, 2, 1, that's how many redstone you need, um, now to power this thing, you could use a lever and just Flick it really fast, but that won't always get your one tick pulse. So what you want to do is you want to grab yourself your redstone block, your redstone torch. So that's another 10 redstone. So it's like 30, it's half a stack of redstone is all you need for this project. Um, break a block behind it, or you could place it back here, um, an extra block up, and you're going to need a piece of redstone dust on there then. But we're going to go super minimalist. Um, and you're going to place your redstone block in that hole, and you take your redstone torch. And by the way, this redstone block and the torch are not needed once you start running this. And you're going to place the redstone torch on top. Go ahead and break these blocks. And now you have yourselves a moving conveyor belt. You don't really want to stand on it up here, because you'll start glitching through the blocks and then this happens. Which is why you're going to place half slabs going across the side and just keep going and what I did in the earlier segment was I used some um, some glass panes if I go ahead and uh, iron bars you can also use iron bars it doesn't really matter um, I'm just gonna make a little staircase right here so I can get up here a lot easier minimalist me needs to break these blocks though you can just go up here, place your iron bars going across the top. Shoot. And it's very hard, but it's useful in the end. And uh, the sad thing about this, that only takes you like 12 blocks, but it's just a cool thing to build. Kind of a show off y thing show off to like brag to your friends hey I have this cool thing and you guys don't because you don't watch brass builders tutorials um and yeah you can just I like to do this too and put a block there and kind of make it so it's not just floating ish and there you go that's your um that's the elevator or not the elevator the escalator all you have to do is just stand kind of stand on the middle and to prevent this going up and down if I uh, give myself some more slabs uh, you can go up a block and you can grab this I hate items floating around you just place uh, half slabs going like this um, right over the iron bars and this is like out in the open but uh, and then you have one extra half slab you can just chuck there for reasons I'm actually just gonna bury it never to be found again extra block for the world to keep track of and to just 
go on the elevator, you just walk in, up, just walk on the second block, you let go, and you feel good about yourself, because you just build an built an elevator. And I, unfortunately, I don't think, I'm not, you don't really want to put two of these next to each other, because you're going to have, like, literally right next to each other, because you're going to have that piston, and let's see how that works. Actually, I haven't tried it, and you, if you actually get in the direct middle, it might work. Nope, it just stops you. Uh, but whenever the piston's, like, in the middle of extending, it might do something different. I'm not sure, but this is a cool kind of concept-y thing. If you like this video, though, please give it a like or something. Tell your friends I'm a small channel. I want to grow. And, yeah. If you really like this kind of video and you kind of want to see more stuff, like my Redstone Adventure video that's going to be coming up, it's going to use this block thing uh, in it. And if you like that kind of stuff, just feel free to subscribe and you won't have to check my channel 24-7 and stuff like that. And yeah, that's about all. It's going to do it for me. I will check you guys later. Peace out.